there. How's it going? I'm here in my hotel room in Singapore. A sunny and warm day out there. I'm going to uh, get rocking and rolling here in uh, just a minute. Just want to do a, a quick little tour of the room. I did it in my uh, last video, so I'll be very brief here. Got a uh, double bed, private bathroom, AC, Wi-Fi that is uh, kind of slow, unfortunately, but I'm sure that it is uh, faster at other places in Singapore. Of course, uh, Singapore is very high-tech and modern, and I'm sure that you can get the uh, super uh, high-speed internet at uh, other hotels. So this is more of a budget hotel. It is $50 per night. I thought that it was a little bit less when I booked it, about $40 per night, but there was a added uh, tax that was pretty hefty. So $50, no breakfast or anything included. It is in the Geelong uh, neighborhood, which is definitely kind of a little bit of a uh, gritty your neighborhood um, but really interesting you'll be seeing it in just a second when I head out of here and go exploring uh, around Singapore I'm going to head for the uh, subway station and get downtown go show the marina area and then uh, see some other parts of Singapore so in this video then I will be showing you how expensive is Singapore it is like moderately priced I would say it's not uh, super expensive. It is definitely not uh, super cheap. This room is a little more expensive than my room in Kuala Lumpur where I had basically the same thing for $35 per night, but there are definitely some good uh, deals to be found. I had uh, a meal a couple of nights ago at a little uh, place uh, right down here in Geelong where you go up and you point at different uh, you know, ready-to-go dishes and then they put whatever you want on a plate and it came to six Singaporean dollars and so you need to know that the uh, exchange rate for the six Singaporean dollar versus the US dollar for comparison is uh, 72 US cents to one Singaporean dollar. And so if something says that it is $10 Singaporean, then that means that it is $7.20 US. And so $6 for a, a big plate of food, that is like a little more than $4, so a great deal. However, last night I went to this Chinese restaurant and uh, ordered from the menu and I got two dishes a uh, beef uh, noodle dish and then fried rice and a beer and it came to 30 Singaporean dollars and so that is like uh, 22 23 dollars and so that's you know getting a little pricey there so there's a real uh, range of prices for various uh, things here in Singapore all right I'm excited to uh, get out of here and go see more of Singapore I will mention that the population of Singapore is 5.6 million and Singapore means lion city singa means lion as in like singa beer and then per or poor means city so Singapore lion city all right here we go and so it's the Fragrance Hotel Sapphire. Fragrance Hotel is a chain here in Singapore, maybe elsewhere, not sure. But across the street there, you can see another one. Fragrance Hotel Sunflower. And here we are in Singapore, a hot, hot day. Up here is Geelong Road. And on the right here is the restaurant where I had the cheap meal for four bucks different dishes there and you can just uh, pick what you want and get rice and etc and then the Chinese restaurant was down this way in my last video then I walked that way this time I'm going to walk this way and head for the MRT metro station and another restaurant here got coconuts and all kinds of dishes including pizza, mini mart, shirts and shorts for five dollars. That is like three dollars and fifty cents and 7-eleven. I got breakfast there this morning, a tuna sandwich, three yogurts, and a orange juice for about uh, five dollars US tons and tons of restaurants around here and so Kalong Road there I am headed for the Kalong MRT metro station so many interesting things to eat around here. I mean, look at that, like so colorful. And wow, it is a really hot day today. 
the last couple of days that I was here were uh, cloudy and so it was a lot cooler. And so Singapore is a island nation. It is a small island at the tip of Malaysia and it was previously part of Malaysia back in the early 60s when Malaysia was first formed. Then Singapore was one of the states of Malaysia and then because of uh, political differences then it was basically like kicked out of Malaysia and so it was only part of Malaysia from 1963 to 1965 and then became a separate country and so it is a little island and basically just one city there are actually 62 uh, different uh, little islets that are around the main island but it is basically this one main island with the city of Singapore a city state island nation and so you can see there at Geelong Road, a bus stop here, Kalang. And here's the Kalang MRT. And so I'm here at Kalang. I'm going to Marina South Pier. I will need to change at Raffles Place. Got my ticket, 190 Singaporean. And so that is about $1.50 US. And then here we have some Singapore currency, $2.00. Five dollars, fifty bucks. And so I think I am actually inside. The uh, Marina Bay Sands shopping mall now. That's cool, a little canal. A lot to explore in Singapore. is actually two levels up and so I need to get up there. And here we go. Out into the hot, humid air of Singapore. It's good to be outside though. And so one thing that I will mention as far as uh, prices is my taxi from the airport to my hotel there when I first arrived two days ago. Then it was only $15 Singaporean and that is just like $11, $12 for a like good like 20 to 30 minute or so taxi ride. So that was uh, good news there, a very uh, fair price. And then I tipped him a few dollars. And so here's the harbor. I'll get a uh, better view of it. And the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Three different sections of the hotel and then a big uh, boat on top with restaurants and swimming pools. And a nice view of Marina Bay. Check out this cool bridge. And straight up ahead, I think, is the Gardens by the Bay, which I really wanted to see. I didn't go there my last uh, two times to Singapore. Previously, I was in Singapore in 2010 for about five days, and then last fall in 2017, just for one night. 
and so I still need to come back here and spend another like week there is so much to see around here and so here you can get a little taste of the gardens by the bay these weird looking structures up ahead cloud forest flower dome children's garden super tree grove sounds like a lot of cool stuff to see I'm still not sure actually if there's a uh, fee to go in there or not you are here and so it's all throughout here ticketing okay I guess you got to pay something that is quite a surreal view with those weird looking things there and the Marina Bay Sands Hotel behind it awesome And so those are living plants growing on the side of this thing. Very futuristic. And so here's a little taste of what it looks like at night when it's all lit up. So here is the flower dome and the cloud forest up ahead and so i think the deal is that uh, you can wander around the gardens for free and then you pay to do uh, certain things so going to find out about that for sure here and so i got my ticket right there and so the deal is that there are three different attractions around here there is the cloud forest the flower dome and then there is a walkway and so you can get one ticket for the Cloud Forest and the Flower Dome, and that is $33. Or you can get a ticket just for uh, one or the other, and then that is $23. And so I went for that and got a ticket for the Cloud Forest. And then you pay separately for the uh, Skywalk Bridge thing, and that is eight bucks. Hello, thank you. Tony Cloud Forest, huh? Tony Cloud Forest, yes. Thank you. Whoa. Check that out. So that was really cool, a little pricey there. Just keep in mind that this part here is free to walk around. So if you're on a budget, then skip the uh, paid attractions. And this itself is really spectacular and seems to be quite large. A lot to see here. Wow. 
This is intense. And so I guess this might be the walkway that you have to pay to go up there. But I'm tired of standing in lines and being in crowds. So going to walk through the rest of the garden here and then get out of here and go see a different part of Singapore. So I'm now at a uh, place called Ha Par Villa. You can see right there, Ha Par Villa. And it is like this park of really colorful statues. And it is free to enter. There's just one problem, which is that it closes at 6 p.m. and it's 6.30. I lost track of the time. I've been, you know, wandering around over at the uh, marina and stuff for a while. Uh, just got a late start, you know, to start this uh, tour in general, and just wasn't even thinking about the time. I didn't know what time it closed, so it closes at uh, 6 in the evening, and the uh, security guard was here, and he's not going to let me in, so people are coming out of there right now. So, would have been cool. It sounded really interesting. I saw a uh, video about it, and I was looking forward to it, but that's the way it goes sometimes, so uh, check it out, Hopar Villa, if you're in Singapore. It was kind of a uh, long metro ride to get here it took about 30 minutes and cost two dollars singaporean so that's just like a dollar fifty or so and so a little bit of a mission to get out here but uh looks like it would have been worth it if i'd gotten here half an hour ago all right gonna keep on cruising get back to the mrt and go to a different part of singapore that won't be closed Hello, Chinatown. I'm getting hungry, but I don't want to have Chinese food because I ate it last night. So I'll see what I find. Maybe go to another part of town if it's just all Chinese restaurants. I would assume there will be some other choices, but we'll see. And so that right there is a massive mall. I don't feel like going inside there. But up ahead here is Temple Street. That sounds more interesting. Pretty cool. Definitely classic Chinatown. <coughs> this has an old timey feel to it. Except for the neon. I bet it's a bit more happening a little later. It's a little after seven now, not dark yet, and so the nightlife has not emerged. Durian. I'm not sure what these things are. I saw them yesterday as well. Na name of this? Mangosteen. Mangosteen. Ah, I see. Thank you. 
All right, I've heard of mangosteen, but... And dragon fruit, check out dragon fruit, so cool. Kiwi, apple, cantaloupe, I guess. And so it's basically shopping and eating mania here. I didn't see the temple for Temple Street. Maybe I gotta search around a little more. I'm sure there must be one. <laughs> Buddha Tooth Relic Temple Buddhist Temple, obviously. And it is huge. Surrounded by high tech skyscrapers. Chinatown Food Street. And there are some good smells in here. Hello. Be tough to make a choice of which restaurant they all look good different styles of Chinese food I guess one of them said Sichuan Chinese seafood barbecue katong kiki fried oysters hello no thanks Salty egg yolk crab, cereal prawn, black pepper rib, Lashan sweet skin duck, dumplings. But I'm gonna keep on cruising and go to the next area of Singapore of Bugis and then get some dinner there. This is Bugus, Bugus Street. And so one thing I wanted to mention about the uh, MRT Metro uh, system, I took uh, five different trips so far, totaling almost $10. There is a day pass you can get that is $10 for the day. So considering that I will be taking one more Metro train, I might have saved, you know, a buck or something if I'd uh, gotten that day pass. The two-day pass is $16, so that's a better deal. And then the three-day pass is, I think, $20. And so uh, that's worth looking into if you're going to be taking a lot of um, metro trains around the city is don't pay for them one by one. And also then you've got them all in one card and you don't have to buy separate tickets. Yep. All right, whoa, let's check it out. And hopefully find something cold to drink and something good to eat. I don't need any of this other stuff.
If you're going to get pickpocketed in Singapore, I'm guessing this is a good place to have that happen. Dragon Street. Also a good place to get lost, it looks like. And part with some money. Crepes. T-shirts. Street food, octopus satay. Sugarcane juice, $1.50. It's cheaper in India. And if you're curious about the price of shoes, Sale $20, $25, $29. And of course, that is Singaporean, so you gotta subtract 30%. Pretty good uh, prices there. Backpacks, $20, about 15 bucks US. Four for $10. Hello, Raisa? It's t shirts? Yeah, t shirts. Four for $10. Yeah. Wow. You're very tall. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Large, large size? Sold! Four t-shirts for 10 bucks. Singaporean, that is $7 US. Killer deal. Hopefully they fit. If not, they will be gifts for somebody. All right, time to find somewhere to take a seat and get something cold and refreshing. Four dollars, that's about three bucks US for oyster mi sua. Five dollars, about four dollars US for lor bak rice. Thank you. Six dollars and I pay now? I will I will order some food too. Yep. Okay. It was time. So here are the t-shirts that I got. I love Singapore. Love Singapore. Singapore Art Museum. And Singapore. Nice selection of colors. And Tiger Beer. Award-winning full-bodied beer born in Singapore. And this is a seafood and tofu dish that looks amazing. And so I've got one of the t-shirts on that I just bought. It's really comfortable and a perfect fit, so that's good news. The total bill there for two beers and a fried rice and a uh, seafood dish was 32 bucks and 35 cents. That's like $24 or so US. And so that is not, you know, cheap, but that is not too expensive either. Pretty uh, fair price. So Singapore is a pretty good value for an amazing city. So much to see here. All right, I am wiped out. Time for me to catch the metro back to where I started from. See ya. Tomorrow, flying to San Francisco. Not sure exactly what's coming after that, but uh, we shall see. Later. Whoa, whoa. <laughs>